Hello and welcome back to the Houston Texans franchise. Today we're on the road, taking on the Raiders, looking to get a win coming out of the bye. One thing you never want to see is more injuries coming out of the bye than you had going into it, but that is exactly what happened to the Texans. They're going to be missing three starters in Omenihu, Willis, and Middleton. It has to be next man up mentality as they're starting with the ball at their own 29. It's a hand up to James White. Starting running back today, he has a gain of four up to the 33. Stays in here on second and six, and they're going to throw it to him underneath. He has the first down hanging on, throw a big hit, a pickup of 13 up to the 46. Devine is probably going to be asked to throw the ball a bit more than usual with that Willis injury. He's going to take off here. He has the first down and more sliding out of bounds at the Raiders 37, a gain of 17. Devine has time. He's moving out right, and he runs into a sack. That is Max Crosby. Sacking him back at midfield, making it second and very long. Second and 24. You need a good chunk here to make third down. At least have a chance, but he's going to throw it away out of bounds. Third and 24. And they at least get in a field goal range. Devine going for it all, and it's incomplete through the hands of Brevin Jordan. So they waste the opening possession, and they're going to punt it away to the Raiders, at least maybe pinning them back deep. Yeah, they get a lucky bounce, and it's going to be down to the 11. So the Las Vegas Raiders take over. At their own 11, there's a carry for Josh Jacobs taking a big hit from Hightower. Second and eight. Jacobs again up the middle, a bit more space up to the 20. Third and one. They're going to stick with Josh Jacobs. Makes a cut. He has the first down and more. Finally going to be dragged down from behind at the 31. The three straight handoffs to Josh Jacobs. They put in Kenyon Drake here. He gets the ball. Not much space. Hightower tackling him after a gain of three. Now Truman in the backfield, their third running back of this first drive. They throw it to Darren Waller, though, on the left side. He has a first down and a gain of eight. Jake was back in the game. They fake it to him. Gar has time. He's going to throw it away out of bounds, though. Second and ten from the 42. They fake it to Jacobs again. Gar moving to his right, and he's going down. That's Tristan Hill. Second and back at the 34, making it third and very long. Third and 19. Are they going to try to... Take a big chunk here. Yeah, it looks like they will. Carr moving out left. Nobody really open, and he's going to throw it away out of bounds. So it's a punt for the Raiders, and the Texans get the ball back. Starting at their 21 after the punt, there's James White getting 10 on first down. Second and inches, Devine looking to throw. But he's going to get sacked again by Max Crosby. This time it's the right tackle's fault. It's going to be third down. And this is just poor blocking from Bobby Massey. He didn't even give his quarterback a chance. Third and 13. See if they can get a first down. Devine has time. But he's checking it down underneath to James White. For a gain of four, they got to punt it. The Raiders take over at their 28. Play action fake. Carr gets rid of it at the last second downfield for Cortland Sutton. And he's brought down at the Houston 49. What a play, though, by Carr. Escaping the pressure and finding Cortland Sutton open down the field. After the big play, they play action fake it. He's got to check it down underneath to the... Back up tight end there, Morrow with a gain of four. A toss right side on second and six. Josh Jacobs running into Ezekiel Mills, picking up four yards. Third and two. Jacobs left side. He has the first down and more. Finally going to be brought down at the Texans 25. But it's a big run for the Raiders. Carr has time. Moving right and he's going down. That is Ross. Blacklock sacking him on the play back at the 32. Making it second and 17. Carr, a quick throw over the middle underneath to Hunter Renfro, making it third and 13. They need a bigger chunk here, though, for the first down. Carr moving out right. He's going to throw it away out of bounds. They're going to have to attempt a field goal here to end the first quarter. And the kick is good, so the Raiders take the lead, 3-0. A quick three and out from the Texans, and the Raiders get the ball right back. It's Josh Jacobs on first down. Starts the second quarter, and it's a gain of four. Second and six. Jacobs again up the middle, a lead block from the fullback, and he powers forward for the first down. Truman the back, the rookie, getting the ball left side. He has a lane stiff-arming Desmond King, crossing midfield to the Texans 47. That's a gain of 16. Jacobs back on the field, and he runs into Hightower. They're going to give him a gain of one. Second and nine. Truman the back again. Carr throwing left side, though, for Hunter Renfro out of bounds near a first down. Third and one. They hand it off to Truman. He has a lane, but he makes a bad cut. He still has the first down, but it could have been a whole lot more for the rookie running back. J. 
Jacobs on the field again. He runs into Tanner Muse, gonna lose a yard. Muse making a big play here against his old team. Second and 11. Jacobs going down the backfield again. This time it's the rookie defensive tackle, Martin Boyce, making it third and very long. Third and 13, the Texans send a blitz. Car has time going downfield for Cortland Sutton, and he's out of bounds at the nine. It's going to be goal to go for the Raiders. First and goal, Truman's the back. They're going to hand it off to him, and he's going nowhere. Popped to the line of scrimmage by Ross Blacklock. Second and goal, Jacob's the back. They fake it to him. Carr going underneath for Darren Waller, who's brought down out of bounds by Tanner Muse. Third and goal, Carr. Looks like he has time. Going left side for Darren Waller, and he's got him, but he's going to be brought down short of the end zone at the three. It's going to be fourth and goal. The offense is staying on the field. Jacobs gets the handoff, makes a cut. He's going to be spun down short of the end zone. No! The refs are ruling this a touchdown. What? What did they see? It didn't even look like he was close. The Texans are going to challenge this. The refs didn't even want to review it. But yeah, look, from this straight on view of the goal line, Jacobs isn't even close. The Texans win the challenge, luckily. So they take over after the goal line stand. But they're at their own one. They got to get out of the shadow of their own end zone. Cumberland picks up two on first down. And here he has a bit more. It's going to be third down, though. Third and five. James White on the field again. Devine going downfield for Devontae Adams. He makes a great catch in a tight window. Picking up the first down up to the 27. There's a play action fake to James White. Devine has time. He's going to check it down underneath James White. Nice gain on first down. Second and two. A play action fake. Pressure in Devine's face. He has to get rid of it out of bounds. Third down. They're going to hand this off to James White. And he's going nowhere. Didn't even have a chance. They're going to have to punt it away on fourth down. The Raiders take over at their own 25. Here's Josh Jacobs on the right side. He doesn't have any room. Going down after a gain of one. Second and nine. Probably the last play before the two-minute warning. Jacobs stiff arms Muse. Goes down at the 31. Third and four at the two-minute warning. Derek Carr looking to set up a screen pass, but it isn't there. They're going to have to punt it away. The Texans have all their timeouts and a minute 50 left to make something happen. Throw on the left side to Brandon Cooks. Brought down up to the 36. They would go no huddle. From an empty look. Devine moving out right. He throws it away out of bounds. Third and two. They stay empty. Devine going over the middle. That's caught by James White. Brought down up to the 47. They stay no huddle. Still empty. Devine moving right. He's going to lob this downfield for Nico Collins. But he missed. Throws it, I guess, or a miscommunication. Anyway, it's second and ten. Vine has pressure on him, and he has no choice but to get rid of it out of bounds. Third and ten. The empty look again. Devine has pressure on him, and he's hit as he throws. It's incomplete, and they're going to have to punt it away. See if they can pin the Raiders back deep here and make them have to go the whole length of the field to put more points on the board. And it's going to be down there at the five. Another great punt by Don Booth. Raiders got to go 95 yards for a touchdown. Josh Jacobs on first down, picks up four. They use their first time out. Second and six, Carr is going to throw it. Going underneath for Hunter Renfro. Brought down at the 13, there's their second time out. Third and two, Carr looking deep down the field. Pressure is coming and he's going down. That's Tristan Hill. Sacking him back at the two. The Texans are going to take a time out. What an effort though by Hill to give the Texans a chance to get some points before the end of the half. Starting from the Raiders, 46 with... Two timeouts and 20 seconds left. It's an incomplete pass on first down. Second and 10. Devine has time. He's moving out right. Lobbing downfield for Brandon Cooks, and he's got him. Out of bounds at the Raiders 29, and they save two timeouts. They can still use the middle of the field. Devine has pressure coming, and he's going down. Sacked back near the 40, and they have to use a timeout. Second and 19 with eight seconds left. They're just going to run it with James White to try to make the field goal a little bit easier. They take their last time out. The kick from Fairbairn is good, so we are going to be tied at half, 3-3. Three to three. The defensive struggle going on here, I mean, it's kind of been the norm for the Texans lately. Looking at some other scores here, the Packers defeat the Titans 33-27, to 27, dropping the Titans to 3-6. and six. Titans are putting themselves in a pretty big hole. It's going to be tough to climb out of. The Eagles lost to the Jaguars 21-28. The Jaguars moved to 5-4. We got to try to keep pace with them. Need a win today over the Raiders. 
Carr throwing left side, two receivers in the area. And Cortland Sutton's the one that gets the reception and a gain of four. Carr going to throw it again. Going deeper down the field. This time it's Darren Waller across midfield into Texans territory and brought down finally at the 21. They're just outside the edge of the red zone now. They're going to hand this off to Josh Jacobs with a lead blocker. He has a lane and a first down down at the 10. This is not the way you wanted to start the second half if you are the Texans. A quick throw on the left side. That's Henry Ruggs down at the 3. Second and goal. Here's Truman getting the carry. Running past Hightower into the end zone. Giving the Raiders the first touchdown on the day in the lead. You don't see this too often from the veteran linebacker making a mistake against the run. Now let's see if the Texans offense decides to do something here in the second half. James White with a nice run on first down. Up to the 39. Here's White again. Stiff arming a man. Going to be brought down by Love from behind. At the 46, second and three, White again, making a cut, makes another cut in the Raiders' territory and brought down at the 39. James White, what an effort to start this second half by him. See if the ground game can keep it up. No, they're actually going to throw a screen pass to Devontae Adams, and there's not much there, a gain of just two. Second and eight, Vine going underneath. Brevin Jordan brought down shy of the first at the 33. Vine at nine of... 20, not the best completion percentage. James White is the first down up to the 20-yard line. Now at the red zone, we'll see if this Texans offense can punch it into the end zone. Cumberland getting the carry, and he has not much room. Second and nine, a fake to James White. Divine moving out right. He has to throw it away out of bounds again. Third and nine. Raiders don't send the blitz. Pressure still getting to Divine. He throws it to the middle, and it's batted down. They're going to have to settle for another field goal attempt here, but they at least make the kick. So now it's a 6-10 to 10 ball game. The Raiders get possession starting from their 25. It's a swing pass right side. Hughes there to bring down Truman in the open field. Second and eight. It's a carry for Josh Jacobs, and he's going nowhere. Going to lose three yards on the play. Third and 11. They go empty. The Texans don't blitz. Carr... As time, he loads up and goes deep down the field. One-on-one -on -one for Cortland Sutton, and it's popped up in the air. It's going to be incomplete. So the Texans dodge a bullet, and they get possession of the ball starting from their own 32. It's a handoff and gain of one for James White. Carmel in the back now. He's popped at the line of scrimmage, going nowhere. Third and ten, just like that. Vine has time, but it's running out. He's going downfield for Devontae Adams, who makes a great catch. And another tight window. With a first down, down at the Raiders, 43. Here's James White on the left side, spun on down by Ngakwe at the 42. Second and nine. Vine has enough time to get this one off downfield to Nico Collins. Down at the Raiders, 26. Vine's going to throw it again. Moving right, going underneath for Devontae Adams. Inside the 20 and out of bounds at the nine. It's going to be good to go for the Texans just like that. Time is winding down here in the third quarter as James White runs into the back of his center here on first and goal, losing a yard. Second and goal, Divine has time. Lobbing back left corner of the end zone. It's intercepted by Mullen Jr. He's going to take a knee and bring it out to the 20. It was intended for Devontae Adams. A great read on the play, an even better catch, though, by Mullen Jr. Last play of the third quarter here, Derek Carr going to throw it. Check it down to Truman on the right side, brought down by Mills at the 29. Second and one to begin the fourth quarter. Jacobs left side, breaking a tackle, making a juke. Spun on down with a first down up to the 32. First and 10, Jacobs left side. Has some lead blockers, gets to the edge, crossing midfield. Finally brought on down at the 40 of the Texans. Defense really needs to get a stop and at least hold the Raiders to a field goal. Jacobs now... Over 100 yards, I'm sure Coach Zimmer is loving this ground game. Second and nine, Carr loading up, firing one-on-one -on -one to the end zone off the hands there of Cortland Sutton incomplete. Third and nine, Carr all day, going underneath for Truman, and he picks up three yards. They're going to take another field goal here, and the kick is good, so the Texans' defense at least keeps this a one-score game. Starting from their own 23, it's a handoff to James White. Going to be brought down from behind by Yannick Ngakwe. Second and seven, Cumberland, they fake it to him. Vine going downfield for Brandon Cooks. 
Nice catch over the middle up to the 37 with a first down. Vine loads up, throws over the middle again, and that's Brevin Jordan with a great catch at the Raiders 48. Under seven to go. It's a screen pass to Devontae Adams on the left side. He can't get the blocking he needs. Game of just three. Second and seven. Vine moving out right. He's going to take off, trying to get a lead block from Brevin Jordan, and he goes out of bounds at the 35 of Las Vegas. Here's James White on first down, picking up just one. Second and nine. The Raiders blitz. Divine over the middle. That's off the hands of Nico Collins. He can't hang on. Third down. Divine. Pressure coming. Going downfield in a triple coverage off the hands of Brevin Jordan. And incomplete. It's going to be fourth down. What do the Texans do? They're going to kick a field goal here. The kick from Fairbairn is good. So it's a 9-13 game. Defense needs to get the Texans a stop, though. A carry for Truman. Left side. Spun on down. Picking up just one. Second and nine. Jacobs the back this time. Gets the ball left side. Picks up one yard. Third and eight just like that. The Raiders are going to throw it. Carr hit as he throws down the field. He has Henry Ruggs making a play on an underthrown deep ball at the Houston 47. A tough way to give up a big third down conversion. Under four minutes to go. Carr going down the field again. It's off the hands of Desmond King into the hands of Cortland Sutton. He's going to run this one into the end zone. Unbelievable. Just like that, it's a two-score Raiders lead. I mean, come on. You got to intercept this. Off the hands of King. Sutton ready to make a play on the ball, I guess, and run it in. Now the Texans need two scores in under four minutes. They do have all their timeouts. Brevin Jordan on first down picks up seven yards. Second and three. Vine for Devontae Adams, and he has a first down up to the 38. Three minutes to go. Vine has plenty of time going down the field. There's Brandon Cooks mossing somebody at the Raiders 40. They stick with the no huddle. Pressure coming and Devine throws it away out of bounds. There is a flag and it's intentional grounding a huge loss. Second and 21. This time he has better blocking but nobody can get open. He's going to take off and pick up what he can. There's a late hit out of bounds that's not called. It's third and 13 with 2 minutes 25 seconds left. Devine going underneath. James White makes a spin but goes down short of the first. It's going to be fourth down. They hurry up to the line. Last play before the two-minute warning. It's a slant route to Devontae Adams who makes a big play and keeps the game alive. Under two to go. Devine going underneath right side. That's Brevin Jordan trying to get out of bounds, and he does, saving the timeouts out at the nine. Third and two after an incomplete pass. Devine over the middle. That's nearly intercepted. Would have been the ball game. Fourth and two. They go empty. Devine over the middle again. This time it's caught by Brandon Cooks. And he rolls into the end zone. Making this just a one score game with under two minutes to go. They are going to go for two, but it's not going to work. So it stays a five point Raiders lead. They don't elect to kick the onside. Instead, they're going to try to make the stop here and use their timeouts. They don't allow much on first down. Second and nine. Jacobs right side this time. Breaking a tackle and staying on his feet. He has the first down and it's finally down at the 43. So now all the Texans can do is force a punt really and hope to return it for a touchdown. If that, Jacobs picks up two on first down. Second and eight. Jacobs again up the middle. Stopped after a gain of three. Third down. The Raiders are going to kneel it. And there should be a couple of seconds left on the clock. Fourth down and seven. They're going to punt this away. What are they doing? They could have let the clock wind down even more. Instead, the Texans are going to have six seconds left. Devine going to chuck this one downfield. No, it's a quick out route to Devontae Adams, who gets out of bounds at the 42. Setting up the Hail Mary with two seconds left. Everybody going deep down the field. Devine has time loading up. Everybody trying to get in a position, and it's off the hands of Devontae Adams, and the Raiders are going to hang on and win this one, 20-15 in regulation. And we were this close. Devontae Adams gets his hand on the ball. If it would have snuck through, we had three guys there. Taking a look at the stats in this one, Derek Carr, 17-23, 232 yards, a touchdown, no picks. Shouldn't have had the touchdown, should have thrown a pick. Josh Jacobs, 24 carries, 125 yards, averaging 5.2 yards a carry. They should have ran it even more with him. He was killing us. Cortland Sutton had the big play. I mean, I guess he was just really ready to 
Make a play on the ball. I don't know how he dropped the interception. I still can't believe that. Defensively, Max Crosby put pressure on us all game long, showcasing why we need to draft or sign offensive linemen in this next offseason. Dwight Devine was running for his life for most of the game. He tried his best, but wasn't his best game. Really tough to do that, though, when you don't really run the ball well and you don't block very well for your quarterback. James White, 13 to 67. He was fine. Had a couple of drives where he was really good, but wasn't consistent enough and not really entirely his fault. Devontae Adams, eight receptions, 99 yards. Couldn't bring down the big one, though, and get us a win at the end of the game. Brandon Cooks, a nice job mossing somebody, though. Bobby Massey, yeah, he really struggled and got benched. And I think we are going to stick with Elijah Wilkinson at right tackle for now. Tristan Hill had two sacks and two tackles for loss. He was good. So was Ross Blacklock. Really put pressure on. Gar all game long, but it wasn't enough. Time to move on to some upgrades. Tanner Muse here. Ready to go. Pass coverage. Make him even better at it. He gets one to zone and two awareness. Dante Patterson, the seventh round rookie cornerback. Ready to go zone. Try to even his man in zone out. And he's going to get a nice boost. Zone by three. Devontae Adams at 98 overall has an upgrade, so he's going to go up to 99 overall. Let's go route runner, make him even better at that. And he's going to get one to short and one speed. Nice to see that at this point in his career. Let's do a little bit of scouting, starting with a draft story here. Quarterback Connor Schwartz won't let his team go down without a fight. Connor Schwartz is the number one quarterback on the draft board, a top five projected pick. I don't think we'll be selecting a first round quarterback anytime soon, but the way Dwight Devine has looked so far, we could select a quarterback in the middle of rounds, but it won't be Connor Schwartz, that's for sure. He looks like he's going to be really good, and I'm sure we'll face him at some point and find out how good he really is. Focus scouting time we are at that point in the season. Roman Davis is going to be our first selection of the three players. He is hopefully a first round talent that we can get in the second round at the cornerback position. The other two we're going to be taking a look at or focus on more are Gregory Hudson and Eric Northcutt. I mean, we've been looking at these two all season long. We need to be for sure with which one we take in the first round. Tackle hasn't been the only problem, though, on the offensive line. Obviously, our two guard positions have been not very good. Cole Saunders is a possible guy we could draft in the first or second round. 6'5", 326, 22 year old out of Miami, does have the great elite strength, is a better run blocker than pass blocker. I don't necessarily want to take a guard in the first round. I'd rather take a tackle and then have a guard in the second, third, or fourth round, which is why Martin McIntyre here is a better option out of Vanderbilt. Has the good to great strength skill set. Tells you he's definitely worth a third round and fourth round pick. I, this is probably the guy we want to take, and he's at the top of my guard board. Chase Hyde over at right guard, 6'5", 328, 21-year-old out of Florida. Has good to great strength but we'd have to use probably a first round pick if we want to get him. The only other guard that's worth talking about on the right side is Kenny Acosta here out of Ole Miss. 6'5", 309, 21 year old, a second or third round grade. Does have solid to good strength, but he is not as good as some of the other guys we've looked at. The right guard position overall is just kind of abysmal besides these two. It's just a huge drop off. So if we are going to take a guard, at least a right guard, it'll have to be early. Left guard does have more depth. But I would love to for sure get Martin McIntyre. He is the top of my board. And yeah, that's the guy I really want to add to the offensive line in the middle rounds. After the loss to the Raiders, we do sit at 5-4 and four, tied for the division lead with the Jaguars. The Colts have won four straight to put themselves back in the division race after starting out the season 0-5. Our next opponent, the Washington football team, they're 4-6, and six, coming off a win over the Deshaun Watson-led Giants. 21 to 16. Marcus Mariota, their quarterback, is having a pretty good season. 15 touchdowns, five interceptions. I'm sure they expected one of the seven quarterbacks they signed last offseason to be good. Antonio Gibson, their lead running back, seven rushing touchdowns, 615 yards. They signed Chase Edmonds in the offseason to be the backup. At receiver, they have some depth here. Terry McLaurin, Curtis Samuel, Tim Patrick they got from the Broncos in free agency, and Logan Thomas at tight end. But defensively, they're going to be without their two top pass rushers. Montez Sweat, a PCL tear. Jason Pierre-Paul is the backup there. On the right side, Chase Young, Torres Achilles. He's missing the rest of the season. They don't have the depth on the right side to back him up. James Smith-Williams will have to step in and do what he can. Defensive tackle is loaded, though. Three deep there. Should be tough to run the ball up the middle against them. Next time, we'll look to bounce back against the Washington football team. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.